Hi everyone, it's me, Wei Chiang here. Um, today I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but uh, before the medicine takes effect, I thought I'd better do a video first. So the today's question goes like this. Um, in a pastry shop, the number of cakes was twice the number of cream puffs. After 90 cakes and 37 cream puffs were sold, the ratio of number of cakes left to the number of cream puffs left was 2 to 5. Uh, how many cakes and cream puffs were there in the shop at first? Well, to do this, we first of all need to note the uh, final ratio of uh, cream puff, cakes to cream puff is 2 is to 5. So this would mean that the model that I'm going to draw, cakes to cream puff, okay, cakes will get 2 units. Whereas cream puff is going to get 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now this is before. Uh, sorry, this is after, after what was sold. So we know that they sold 90 cakes and 37 cream puffs. So it would be easier to add on the 37 cream puffs here. Okay, so I'm just going to add on a, a, a smaller box here. And I'm going to label it 37. Now we need to note that the first sentence states that the number of cakes was twice the number of cream puffs. Which means, if this was the original number of cream puffs, this would be one unit. Which means I need to add on this will be one unit for the cakes and this would be the other one unit for the cakes so this is one unit this is another unit that makes two two units of cakes to one unit of cream puffs and we know that over here okay this is 90 because 90 was sold now if we were to look at this part here Okay, just the first unit. Okay, we will know that there is a 37 here. If there is a 37 here, okay, there will be also a 37 here. And looking at this portion here, this will therefore be 3 units. Now, a lot of students will make a mistake here of saying that this is also 3 units, but it's actually not. Because this whole unit here is the same as this one here. And over here, I have 3 and 2 units, so that makes 5 units. Okay, so from this point onwards, it's a lot easier to see. 3 units and 5 units make 8 unit. 8 unit and this 37 and 37 gives me 90. So therefore, 8 units would therefore be 90 minus 37 minus 37. The answer being 16. So from this point onwards, it's become very automated. So one unit would therefore be um, two. So how many cream puffs do you have in a shop at first? Cakes and cream puffs, well, cakes would therefore be two units. It's actually four. Let me just take the 90 that was sold. You add on to the four, it would be 94. So there were 94 cakes at first. As for the cream puffs, well, it's actually one, two, three, four, five units. So 5 units would therefore be, oh actually we don't need this actually, it's basically um, 94 divided by 2, <laughs> right, so let's just go this way, 94 divided by 2 will be 47, it's a lot easier, of course we could continue with these 5 units and then after that you uh, add on to the 37, you will get back to the same answer. So there you have it, a question on uh, ratio, and the real trick here is here. Okay, where students need to see that this one unit here is actually made out of 5 units and 137 and the same applies here. So there you have it, how to solve a question and uh, look forward to making another video next week. Hopefully I'm feeling better by then and have a good day ahead. Bye.